nghiệp lặng than tên gửi lòng theo tiếng chuông đồ đa đồ đa is a title given by him by the children of a village called Uruvela his name is Shidakta Gotama The Buddha means the one who is awake. And you know that the Buddha is not a god. He's a human being like us. He has suffered like us. He had practice. And he was able to overcome and transform his suffering and confusion and became a teacher. His real name is Shilakta Gautama. Shilakta, first name. Gautama, family name. And uh, his clan is Shakya. Shilakta Gautama Shakya. And then uh, after having walked for about uh, 10 minutes, <coughs> Shilakta Gautama the Buddha hear the sound of running after him. And by hearing that sound, He knew that it was Angulimala. When you are very mindful, when you are concentrated, you can detect the energy that has uh, expressed itself into uh, sight and sound. And the Buddha had the insight that it was Angulimala that was running after him. But the Buddha was not fearful. He was very calm. He was very solid. He was still very young. And Siddhartha Gautama, the Buddha, before he became a monk, had been one of the best in the field of uh, martial art. He won the contest organized in uh, his uh, city, Kapilavastu, concerning martial art. So he knew that he was young, he was uh, strong, he was skillful in martial art, he is lucid, he has compassion, he has many means to protect himself. So that is why he continued to do work and meditation step by step, not disturbed at all by the presence of Angulimala. Angulimala was very angry always a lot of violence and hate in him. He called out to the Buddha, Hey, monk, stop! The Buddha hear that, but he continued to do peaceful, mindful walking. He did not stop. And then Angula Mala called for the second time, Monk, stop! I told you stop! The Buddha continued, walk peacefully, not disturbed by that kind of threat. And then he heard the steps of uh, Angulimala running quickly. And in no time at all, Angulimala was walking uh, on the same, on some line with him. And with an angry tone, Angulimala said, Monk, I told you to stop. Why do you still continue to walk? The Buddha continued to walk, and with a very peaceful voice, he said, Angulimala, I stopped a long time ago. It is you, my friend, who has not stopped. <laughs> What do you mean? And he jumped ahead and, and stopped the Buddha, and forced the Buddha to stop. What do you mean? You were walking, walking, and you said that you had, you had stopped. The Buddha looked at him with a lot of compassion. And, uh, and addressed uh, Angulimala with a very uh, gentle voice. Angulimala, on the path of violence and destruction, and hate, 
I have already stopped for a long time. I have taken the path of uh, compassion, understanding, and service. You too, you should stop on your path of violence. You know that every living being wants to be alive. No one wants to die. We have to be compassionate to them. We have to allow them to live, to love them. When Ankulimala heard that, he got very angry. He said, All men, all men and women are cruel, dishonest, deceptive, always lying. I hate them. I want to kill them to the last in order to satisfy my anger. The Buddha said, Angulimala, I know you have been victims. You have been mistreated by many human beings. They have not treated you with understanding, compassion. And you have suffered a lot. You have met uh, cruel people, deceptive people, dishonest people. But you should not think that all men are like that, all women like that, are like that. There are people who are capable of understanding and loving and being compassionate. It's pity that you have not met such people. Suppose a bhikshu, a mendicant, have you met any bhikshu? Well, that life is devoted to saving the life of people and to practice non-violence in thinking, in speaking, and in acting. And they have uh, their compassion, their peace to protect them. They rather die than to take the life of another human being. Angulimala, I think you have to to change the direction, to take the direction of uh, compassion, understanding. The ocean of suffering is immense. But if you turn around, you see the shore of well-being. Angulimala has never seen a person like Shidakta. Everyone he met, he had met, was terrified by his presence and tried to run away from him. But this person, he was not afraid of him at all. And he was able to look at you in a very compassionate way. He has never seen and, and met such a person like this monk. His gentleness, his compassion can be felt. Angulimala said, Are you the Buddha? Are you Siddhartha? I have heard of him. Are you him? The Buddha said, Yes, I am Siddhartha. Angulimala said, Gautama is too late. It's too late. I have gone too far on that, on this path. Even if I want to stop and turn into another direction, it's all already too late. Nobody will allow me to have a chance to begin anew. The Buddha kept silence for a few seconds. And he told Angulimala, if you really want to give up the path of violence and destruction, if you want, really want to make the commitment to live the life of compassion and of service, and then I will help you. I will 
offer you my protection as a spiritual teacher and my community will guarantee for your for for your protection